Hey everyone, Andrikatz here and welcome back to my channel! We've hit the one year mark in Dragonflight and as the expansion keeps rolling, lots of players naturally want to spend more time with their alts and start working on their professions. Thanks to the ongoing updates and the game constantly introducing new stuff, now is the perfect time to dive into professions as there are plenty of opportunities to boost your points compared to the start of the expansion. Having up those profession skill trees unlocks better rewards and fatter profits. So buckle up as we dive into the fun stuff, all the tips and tricks to boost those knowledge points and discover sweet shortcuts for your alts. So let's go! The points to fully unlock your profession vary wildly depending on your chosen field. Long story short, getting the most out of your skill tree is going to take some serious time. There is no quick way to do it, but if you stick until the end of the video, I'll share a trick to keep farming points indefinitely. First and foremost, as you level up your profession skill and learn new recipes, each new recipe you can craft gives you an knowledge point. You can find all the recipes by ticking the first craft bonus, so make sure to craft as many as you can. Keep an eye on the auction house for new recipes as well, you might stumble upon some cheap ones. Even if you lack the materials, you can take advantage of crafting orders by completing them for others and still earn the knowledge point. Make sure to regularly check your crafter station for any unfinished orders. Gathering professions work in the same way, but instead you will need to discover new herbs and ores. Each new herb and ore you gather awards one point to its respective profession. And no, I did not forget about skinning, unfortunately it doesn't work for that. If you are a skinner, you don't earn any knowledge points by skinning something for the first time but luckily at the same time it also requires the least amount of points to fully maximize your tree. As you might expect, the number of points you earn aligns with the recipes in your profession. Once you've crafted everything available, it's time to explore alternative ways to gain more points. There are a lot of one-time sources of knowledge to track down. First off, keep an eye out for one-time items scattered across all Dragonfly zones, including the original four zones, Zara Lake Cavern and the Emerald Dream. Looting each one gives around three knowledge points, so expect to gather a good chunk of points from just flying around. The Handy Notes add-on is a handy tool, no pun intended, displaying all the locations on your map for easy pickup during your fly around. While exploring, keep an eye out for any hidden professional masters. They offer up to 10 points for free and you only need to talk to them to claim your reward. Crafting professions get 5 points, while gathering ones get 10. Again, you can find them easily from the handy notes add-on. You can also check the video description for coordinates. In addition to one-time activities, there are also weekly tasks to check off your list. You can collect knowledge points by looting repeatable treasures every week for any crafting profession. These treasures can be found across all Dragonfly zones, such as the expedition pouches. You can also get an item as a rare drop from specific normal mobs. Usually those mobs are associated with your profession or the looted item. For instance, alchemists can loot Elementius Splinter from elementals. For the gathering professions, on the other hand, you have to actively harvest herbs, ores or skin mobs to get these items. You will not find them from treasures. Gatherers will need to farm 5 blue items, each branding 1 point, and once you've found them all, you stand a chance to loot the final epic item, giving you 3 points. A fantastic tool for keeping track of all of this is Tama's Dragonflight Helper Wikora. It's incredibly effective at managing your weekly profession checklist and one-time sources. For gatherers, having a higher perception might increase your chances of finding additional rare items that give more points. Although it's more challenging to come by, you can potentially earn more than one of these per week. So keep harvesting and who knows, you might get more than one. All professions can earn extra points by completing weekly quests as long as you have attained a minimum skill of 50 in the respective profession. Your trainer offers one easy quest and another one comes from NPCs on the left side of the crafting station. Certain crafting professions can score additional points by fulfilling two crafting orders. This can be conveniently achieved by placing orders from any alt and completing them on your crafter. Another weekly task involves using a draconic treatise. Scribes can craft these items usable once per week to gain one knowledge point in any crafting or gathering profession. Since these items are binds on pickup, you cannot obtain them from the auction house. Instead, you will need to order them through the crafting order stations. Crafting this requires several ingredients such as 10 artisan's metals, 1 rock fang leather through skinning, 5 glittering parchments that you can buy from vendors, and 1 awakened essence with the type varying based on the specific profession. Of course, you can buy them all from the auction house or you can farm them. 
The final thing you can do to get one more point each week is killing a specific rare mob in Forbidden Reach. Depending on which profession you have, a specific rare can drop an item which grants one knowledge point. You will need to craft a special object in order to summon the rare, which you can also buy from the auction house. For example, if you're an alchemist, you'll get one knowledge from killing Agni Blazehoof. It's worth noting here that if someone else summons the rare and you just help kill it, you can still get your point. You don't have to be the summoner. And that's pretty much all about the weekly things you can do. Moreover, each profession is associated with two factions on the Dragon Isles, and as you attain specific renown levels with them, they'll grant you additional points. All professions can get 5 points at renown 14, and upon reaching renown 23 or 24, depending on the faction, you will receive more points tailored to your profession. Gatherers receive 10 points, while crafters get 5. Let's take for instance alchemists, who need to build reputation with the mark centers and the Valdragon Accord. Once you hit those milestones, so basically a renowned 14 and 24, a quest will pop up and you can just turn it in and claim your points. If your main has already maxed out these factions, your alts will find it a lot easier to earn reputation with account wide perks. You can also transfer all your reputation tokens to your alts and use any reputation buffs currently available, such as the Darkmoon Fair or any event going on at the time. For example, you can get tokens with all the factions from doing the weekly quest here in Valdragon and distribute them to your alts. An additional way to earn points for your profession involves purchasing researcher nodes from the Artisan's Consortium Quartermaster. Rebu, located in the Artisan's market area, sells three books for each profession in exchange for metals. Each item provides you with 10 points for crafting professions or 15 points for the gathering ones. To make these purchases, though, you need to achieve a specific reputation level with the Artisan's Consortium faction. And I don't know if you know this, but since 1007, the reputation is now account-wide, so if you've already reached the requirement on at least one character, then you can purchase the rewards on any alt as well, assuming you have the required mentals. You can also pick up free mentals weekly here in Valdragon after you complete a short questline. But if you are still missing on some rep, you can farm by completing your weekly profession quests and one-time quests in Valdragon, in Ruby Life Shrine and Fork River Crossing. Also, since 10.1 is Zarali Cavern, there is an extra source of 10 knowledge points for each of your professions. Ponzo, a Niffen vendor in Loam, sells items that grant points upon learning. To make these purchases, though, you need to reach Renown 3 with Lom Nifen and start collecting barter bricks, the required currency. These bricks can be looted from open world treasures, sniff sneaking digs, and other outdoor activities in the cavern. Once you reach Renown 12, barter bricks will be replaced by new currency called barter boulders. This transition becomes particularly advantageous if your main has already reached Renown 20, as all your owls can then trade Dragon Isle supplies for boulders. Similar to bricks, boulders can be acquired through the same methods, but the option to buy one boulder for 100 supplies each simplifies the process a lot, especially if you have an abundance of supplies to spare. Additionally, you can earn 10 boulders by completing two weeklies offered by NPCs in Valdragon. However, you'll need to reach Renown 12 to unlock the ability to use boulders for purchases. Reaching 12 on an alt is easily achievable by completing the main campaign up to the point where Lom gets burned. The first profession item requires 25 boulders and the second 40. In total, you'll need 65 boulders for each of your professions and you can earn 10 knowledge points. So that's quite good. On top of that, once a character reaches level 12, then you can purchase knowledge books from the quartermaster here. And that's an account why unlock. You can bring all your alts here and just buy them more points. Each book will cost 300 dragon supplies and grants 10 knowledge to your profession, so that's very 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 useful for all of your alts. So even if you don't want to bother with Ponzo, which I'm telling you is very easy to reach Renown 12, still pay your visit here to Harlow, this is basically free points. The only way to keep grinding points endlessly for your professions is through an item called Dragon Shard of Knowledge. This item is obtained from open world treasures and occasionally dropped by rare mobs. Each shard can be handed in to Kadin here in Onaran Plains to get one knowledge point. There is no limit to how many you can turn in at once, but the only requirement is to unlock this ability through a brief questline. As a matter of fact, shards won't even drop before you complete this questline. To study, you need to get the quest Artisan's Courier from Hephaestus. 
It's a short and straightforward questline and completing this rewards you with Cadin's Winston. This enables you to gather and turn in Dragon Shards for 1 knowledge and 50 artisans' mantles. You will also receive 3 shards upon completing this questline. If you have multiple professions, you'll have the choice on which profession you want to apply the point. And don't forget that if you have already done this quest line once, then you have the choice to skip to the end on your alts and start picking up shards immediately. But you will miss out on some rewards. While you still receive reputation and the three shards, you will not get a free reagent back and green quality profession equipment. The decision is yours to make, of course. And last but not least, let's go over to the Dark Moon Fair. In addition to granting skill points for each Dragon Alt profession, the fair also provides a valuable 3 points for each profession. It runs from the first Saturday of each month for one week. Make sure to pay a visit to your trainer and complete the monthly quest. Even if your skill is already maxed out, neglecting to attend the fair means leaving 3 knowledge points for 2 professions and a total of 30 mentals on the table with every character so don't miss out on this opportunity. And that's all guys, whether you've taken a break from WoW and need to polish up your skills, or you just starting first with alts, seize the moment. Keep at it and happy crafting! As always, thank you so much for watching my content and drop a like if you have found this video helpful. Make sure to subscribe and ring the bell. You can also find me over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash games where I'm mostly streaming World of Warcraft. Good luck with whatever you are doing and I will see you all on the next one! Bye!